I'm here in hopelessly upscale in Tony Chestnut Hill and in Newton where the rich folks live. And this is a formal garden of some kind which the public can visit called Houghton Garden. And I'll probably explore it later. My main aim today is to make sense of this place. The Webster Conservation Area. Let's see, and there was a bunch of stuff to make sense of it and the signs are all faded. But boy, they don't want dogs. They'll give you a fine and you gotta leash the sucker, blah, blah, blah. My ongoing collection of bits of dog problems. You can't swing a cat in a conservation area around here without finding some kind of objection to a pooch. But it really isn't usually the pooch's fault. Now up ahead here is the crossing. The Riverside Green Subway Line goes through this thing. This is our little easement access. And a well-designed one it is. The imposing gates of Houghton Gardens on the one side. The more plebeian chain link fence over here. Some distant cars on Hammond Pond Parkway. But this is kind of a nice little conservation parcel. I've been looking at it for most of my life, wistfully from the Green Line window as I was heading out to Riverside. Today as I was mulling over possible explorations, I figured, let's see what's with this place. And there's a little access to Houghton Gardens. An admonition against dumping. Don't be a dick with bicycles. Danger high speed trains. <laughs> You're confronted by quite a few signs, but they're all useful. More important than that is the pudding stone, which is a characteristic formation of Boston. And there seems to be a lot of it here. access right of way and cross the tracks, you come to some pretty choice open space property. It's kind of windy today, so another thing I wanted to do is just find a hike option where there'd be some shelter from the wind. I seem to have done so.
Yeah, it's the old map stunt. We essentially came in by the peat bog and that trail is the one that goes to Hammond Pond Parkway. This other one here looks like the one. Pudding stone is cool. I hadn't noticed it as much in the past. This is said to be a superb place for studying it, assuming it needs much more study. And the only video inventory about this place is mostly guys doing rock climbing practice stuff. Which, while well, I'm sure it's fascinating to them and their friends who also care about that, doesn't really tell us a lot about the place. And it's just another urban amenity. It's readily accessible, as you can see. The comic spectacle of geese going bums up to dabble. That's what they seem to be doing today. Frequently. Must be something tasty down there. So this is the bog, which is now more of a little pond. <clears throat> this is a side trail with a nice spot to sit on some warm pudding stone. vernacular spot rejoins the principal trail. The place is sort of popular. Not mobbed, but hardly forlorn either. Subway. at the crossing. Yeah, it looks like there are more trails winding around the wetland. Da 
gobbling geese and ducks. Mm -hmm.